Hi guys, it's Elsa Hosk and I'm here to take you through my makeup routine. So what I like to do first, primer plus mattifier. It kind of just like blurs your pores before you put on a foundation and it creates like a really good base for any type of makeup you put on first. So I usually just take a little bit on my hand. It's really great to put it where you feel like makeup creases, you know? So like in these little folds here, <laughs> like around the mouth. I like to be kind of matte to start with because then you can kind of add in the shine where you want to versus like having it shiny all over and just having to powder over that a few times. I like to finish off the skin and just make that flawless before I go into any other um, makeup. And this foundation is incredible. It's called the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation and it just creates like a flawless canvas. It's matte, it lasts all day and it looks really natural, which is like key for me. And I like to just dab it on, make it really light. I do like to use my fingers just because I feel like it gives you a lot of control when it goes on and you can just kind of work it in. I mean, flawless makeup. It's also really good for layering. You know, if you want it light in some places, you want it a little bit more coverage in others. It is a full coverage foundation, but the more you work it in, can kind of like control it pretty easily. Something like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, so next, I think I will go with this blush. It's in Fresh Melon, and I'm kind of like keeping with this creamy vibe. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. Really makes me think of summer. It's like good vibes in a little pot. I like to kind of just put a little eyeliner like super lightly just in the root of the lashes. This is the hard part. Kind of a big difference. When I'm done with the eyeliner, I like to put a little shadow in the crease of my eye just to open up my eyes a little bit. And this is the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. And it comes in a really gorgeous color, taupe. And I just like to put the tiniest bit just right in here. And then I kind of blend it with my finger. And I love creamy things because you can't really screw up. It's just so much easier. And this color is so good because it just kind of, it's there, but it's like barely there. Almost done here, actually. I'm gonna do the mascara. Mascara is like finishing touch of every masterpiece. I like a lot of mascara. I don't know why, but I kind of like a black mascara with a brown liner. Because I'm so light that when I do a black liner, it gets like almost like too intense for a daytime. But then if you do go out after, you could always like make the shadow a little bit darker and it's kind of a night look. Last but not least, lip tint. I'm kind of obsessed with this because you put it on, it looks like this, but then you put it on and it turns pink, which is so pretty. And I feel like it kind of adjusts to everyone's natural lip shade. Let me just look up. I think we're done here. I hope you liked my makeup routine as much as I did. 